Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're sat at Alsham, which I've renamed because it was Alsham West, I believe. But uh, since it's the only train station in Alsham, Alsham will do. Now, I also named the uh, tram stop outside as Alsham Station, which uh, feels a little more realistic, doesn't it? Now, when we left off, we uh, set up a new uh, a new junction over at oh what's the name of it it's been a while prince's risborough there we go possibly edited that part out <laughs> as the cogs in my brain slowly turned yes prince's risborough uh, i did tidy it up and we'll go and take a look at that as we set up the line however there's a few issues with the uh, our setup at the moment a few of you in the comments thank you very much spotted them one of which i did not spot so uh, that would have stumped me and uh, the, the timing beautiful our express train which has got an incredible route really it's quite the distance i have ridden it and it took a long time uh, i'll have to time it for the next episode but it's a journey and a half possibly almost a full episode well, I mean, you could get, you could work it out, couldn't you? Yes, you could. Uh, right. On that note, let's bring up the UI. What is the journey time for our train? Uh, tell us then, wouldn't it? Oh, but we've got two trains. There's loads of math involved here. It takes 17 minutes. Well, there you go. <laughs> What's that? Half an episode. That's that's the round. Is that the round trip? The frequency with two trains you'd have to times that by two wouldn't you so that'll be uh 30 34 34 minutes round trip goodness me because that'll be 17 minutes interval is what your frequency is again if you ever forget what this all means you can bring up the uh, context help there and uh, the frequency of a line indicates the time interval between the vehicles and we have two so yes a round trip for a single train should be around about half an hour real time goodness me there goes one of our uh, freight trains which while we're over here and before we get everything set up i did notice as i was parking our camera that uh, we're not keeping up still uh, what do you want there alsham you would like 215 bread and how many do we deliver 128 <laughs> that's not enough is it no we're quite away away no that's no grand grand that is the metro 169 a little better still a long ways off well three i guess three sure we'll see what that does if it goes over it doesn't matter we can always take one off 270 yeah possibly a little too many although that may grow quite quickly there was some upgrading going on wasn't there in the previous episode we're up to 397 million so nearly 400 million in the bank shall we set up this new uh, passenger line the new commuter line this side of the river we've got the river running down there it's kind of nice that that's called bradford uh, well, bradford on avon i almost said a, upon avon bradford on avon i guess this could be the river avon couldn't it there goes one of our aircraft there we go we did get new aircraft as well and uh, that unlocked larger airports which uh, we may fit in today but first lee i have set up the uh, tram line in preparation for today's episode so as you can see there we run through do a little bit of a loop up there and then run through the middle of town and then back down here however because we upgraded this uh, and re rejigged it we lost our feet and not our feet our tendrils our connection to the station it's quite an easy fix um, or first off Shall we official episode? Because we've got a little bit of a bump there, which isn't necessary, is it? Can we get rid of that? There we go. 
all you have to do is smooth over where you place the buildings because while it uh, while it will smooth around it it doesn't actually smooth it underneath it doesn't take that into consideration you can tell that when you delete these as it leaves bumps and stuff but yes uh, a quick fix for this rather than removing the station either of the stations that is you can uh, go in and i find it's easiest to edit these as uh, you can just move the station building and then you can rebuild it to your heart's content now the uh, the tendrils or the connections from here they uh, start at either end as far as i know there's none in the middle which is why we lost our connection because we extended our station past the actual station building itself so we'll just get us one that will squeeze in there it doesn't matter where we put it really uh, well it does <laughs> we can't fit it that side so it's made our mind up we could use a smaller one it may just about reach it does but since the uh, larger one squeezes in there and gives us lots of connections it doesn't fit there we'll get that in there and then we can I guess prettyify it a little bit we don't need any more actual connections the interesting thing is this is making a connection I guess because it's part of this uh, building as well so we could do something like that and then have some of the smaller buildings down this side and have uh, our own little unique station building that we've made at Lee there we go and that now gives us our connection right then shall we uh, shall we sort out our new train our vehicles are doing the uh, the side swipe along the road there I do hope this is a fix at some point I'm fairly confident <laughs> look at the state of them I'm fairly confident transport fever one didn't do that so um, yes it would be lovely to see them just gradually change lanes instead of I don't know what they're doing we're missing some signals down here so we'll get those in and uh, no we do not want you uh, one way that would not work but we do have one just here under the bridge I was looking that side which wouldn't have worked would it so we'll get that in while I have put this in it's not really necessary these uh, do have implied signals two way ones like this at the end but aesthetically they look better don't they instead of invisible signals should we get a uh, which one do we want to go on I guess this would make sense let's get us a depot in here ready depot there we go we'll just plonk this down here it doesn't matter how much it costs does it it's going to be temporary as we will be continuing up there is that Mitchell Dean it is let's get us also a tram depot which we may keep down here it might not be too bad sat in this little corner here as long as we don't encroach on the track i would like it at kind of that angle ideally and hopefully we can still send our our second line over the top there and we may as well tidy this up because my plan and my idea is definitely to have another station running here. I painted this. Uh, it was all that, uh, what is it, like dead grass that it has and bits of rock and stuff down here. Now it looks like, uh, it looks kind of cool, doesn't it? I like that. Yeah, I'm hoping they do build down here. They might do once we set it up. So let's get us some uh, new trams on. I'm not going to use these. I just don't feel like they're necessary it's a kind of bizarre tram that releases in the game I can't see the benefit emissions by one which really doesn't matter uh, worse power worse tractive effort slower um, yes what, what what is the point of that urban when you unlock stuff I just feel like everything should be an upgrade and an option to add on it could be the same as well would also work but anyway the color of the line i went for uh, a brown i believe 
and we're going to stick you on the Lee Metro. There we go. We've got our nice brown trams. They have the brown Metro. Their driving is a bit rough, isn't it? Dear, oh dear. He's a bit happy with the old brakes there. There we go. He's going to get on his way. We'll add another one on shortly, but we first have to set up a new line. I left setting the new line up because there's an issue here as well. And I can show you how to fix that one. I like to leave uh, all these issues in and fix them during an episode so that you can uh, see where you may have problems yourself. And uh, it's, it's easy enough to do. It's very easy to trip over your, your line creations. And uh, there we go. We've got an issue there already, which is possibly... Uh, due to the fact we're coming in on the wrong side. It doesn't matter. We'll make it all. And then we'll uh, fix it all as well. Right. So that's the first bit. So we know we want to be coming in on this side, heading that way, which is accurate. And we want to be heading in on this side, heading back out to Lee. We'll make sure that these are on the... The correct platforms that would be p1 wouldn't it because this one is freight this one wants to be two but that isn't the issue if we hover over this alsham to upper princess risborough no path found between alsham terminal one and upper princess risborough terminal one which uh is i believe not accurate or is it? Is this on the... Oh, it might be. No, that's fine. I think that's right. No, that should be right. Terminal 1. Let's check. Yes, that is correct, isn't it? Because we don't have a crossover. But we want to be on Terminal 2 anyhow. So we'll change it to Terminal 2, which will mean technically we do have a connection now. And... Uh, if we manage the line here, you'll see it's changed where the issue is. Now we have uh, no path found between Terminal 2 in uh, Princess Risborough, where we just changed it, to Aylsham Terminal 2, which is correct, as uh, we don't have a crossover coming out the station. But it has changed where the error is. This is, this is fantastic. It's a lovely way to diagnose uh, any issues. So yes, we now know where the issue is. And we'll, we'll make an easy fix there. And all of this will sort itself out. We can't have that open to do it. Let's get our tracks. Let's turn off the electrics because we're running steam for now. And we'll get us, a, I guess, a, a nice quick crossover here. It doesn't matter how long, does it? There we go. Beautiful. And we'll stick us a one-way signal in just here. Beautiful. And we can do... The same up here, but with a, a two-way signal so that we can go through the signal in both directions. Let's see what that does. And there we go. We've got it fixed, guys. We've got it fixed. Line 1 is not the name. This is going to be... Uh, ooh. Well, I guess it's starting off late. 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 <laughs> I don't know what that is. Lee to Risborough. That's what we'll call that one. And what colour are we going to have that? Oh, do you know? I don't know. Um, we could have it brown. Since we've got brown up at Lee. And if that's where we're originating, technically. Maybe. I mean, that's where the depot is, isn't it? It would make sense. Yeah, there we go. We'll have brown. We don't have a brown train line, do we? So the local service over here is brown. We could even have them all brown over here as well at any of the local services and have them run by the same operator. So what's our issue now, Lita Risborough? Managed line. What do we have left? There is no path between Aylsham Terminal 2 and Lee Terminal 1. Oh, do you know, I don't think that's correct, is it? We have our crossover. This is two-way. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. It's changed the platform here. Never mind. 
That's a fix, isn't it? That's an easy one. There we go. P2, we've got rid of it. Yes. It does like to uh, move the platform assignments around. You can, if you like, force the issue. Uh, possibly not here, as it's not going to be very permanent. However, I feel like we will terminate at Risborough with this service and meet up with the other local service and take it up here when we move our express line over that way. So, given that, I can show you how to force the game's hand, manage the line, after Prince, Upper Prince's Risborough. That's what we're going with. I mean, I feel like lower would work as we're in a cutting. But that's not what upper means, is it? No. Add that signal after it and it will never change its platform assignments if we make any changes to the line but here we go i've tidied up this bridge and uh did a little bit of painting as well down in the cutting i'm still not sure what i'm going to do with the sides of our cutting here it doesn't look too bad at the moment but now i'll leave it as is our bridge feet have moved away from the line it's all nice and flat and level now and i changed our junction up here uh first off a little bit of painting going on down the side there uh, we don't have a signal guarding this uh this branch coming into the main line so first off we do want that one way we'll have uh, a signal back here shall we yeah just why can't i put that in just there don't know what was going on there uh, look at him putting the grass back. Cheeky. And we've got our signals blocking here. So that's okay. I moved the junction slightly. And then I moved the crossing further down. It looks like I didn't change it. But I actually pulled it down a little further. Uh, ooh. I can't remember the northwest and south. That was west of Aylsham, right? So that would be north. I moved the level crossing further north and we've got signals there, signals here, that's all protecting this shenanigans going on here and uh, yeah that's about it. We've got uh, missing signals here, but I wouldn't say they're missing, I would put a couple up here though at least. You could probably get away with every other one with uh, an express line couldn't you? One there and one there. And we're going with like an up, down, up, down, rather than up, up, down, down. That's what we're going with. Lovely. Yeah, we've got closer signals here. That kind of works. Uh, I guess signals at the end of the platforms would work as well, wouldn't it? So we'd have one. We'll put them a little ways away in case we want longer trains than the platform. Uh, or not that they actually lean this way forward, which is a shame. And we'll put another one just there as well. There we go. That should do just fine. We don't actually use this crossover, but I might leave it in. Because we used to, once upon a time, as we were building it. Right, I think we should run like clockwork now. Where's our tram? Is it uh, up the other end? No, I took exactly the right amount of time of waffling for this to do an entire journey. That's a little unfortunate. Do we have people already using it? Yeah, these will be using the uh, intra-city service of this. I'm just going to... Yeah, shall I? Yeah, I'm just going to double double this up for now. They'll space themselves out. We'll need uh, a few more than that anyway. And we'll need to build as a new consist. I guess we'll go with the Scotsman. As that is the one we're using currently to represent our local services. And we'll have the carriages brown. Who had brown carriages in real life in the UK? Was it Great Western? Do you know, I don't know. My mind's gone blank. I've seen them on, uh, well, they were brown and cream, weren't they? Or were they all brown? Daydreaming, guys. Anyway. <laughs> We'll make these brown. It'll be lovely. One, two, three, four. Should we start with five? And then we'll just leave it like that. And we'll probably double up 
early on, even though there's no demand. We could try and uh, calculate the demand, but uh, we've got so much money coming in. We can afford to do things like this, lose a bit of money uh, as it settles down, but um, I'm going to take a look at these lovely brown carriages. We can afford to get this running and get the, the frequency there and everything set up so that we can hopefully dance around it with any more freight trains that we feel like we need to put on. I do like those carriages in brown, I must say. I was a little unsure at first. But they look the business, don't they? We will be taking a ride on this, I believe, at the end of the episode. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Now, let's see if uh, that gets us a little bit of demand. Something we have to do is sort this road out for them. We could leave it like this, and that would be a little bit, I don't know, gamey, cheaty. Because... Um, they're definitely going to prefer our train, aren't they? Over this windy dirt road. Uh, what we can do, though, I like the way we've got this set up, is we can go into that layer, which is the destinations layer. We have 41 people travelling down this road currently. Or 40, there we go, someone's finished the journey. Um, but if we, uh, what do we want? Lee, if we stick Lee on there, we have 11 people heading down here from, I would imagine, it's from Aylsham. Yes, so if we can get those bums on our seats rather than uh, in their car, uh, they're, still, they're still going by car. But uh, yeah, if we can get some of the people off there onto here, that would be great. And I'm going to pause it as what I'd like to do first is get this upgraded, straightened up a little bit, sped up a little bit, it doesn't need to be like this, does it? We don't need a roller coaster. Uh, it's supposed to be a main road connecting Lee and Aylsham. And I believe, where else is it? Doesn't it head off to, yeah, Romsey, which we haven't got to yet, but we will do. So what we'll do is we'll tidy it up a little bit, get it uh, a little smoother, like we don't need these wiggles. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfectly straight. We're not going to do that. We're going to keep it fairly back roady. Right, let's get our roads, streets, highways, get that done. Upgrade you, beautiful. And you're doing all right going up there so far. Now we'll get our wiggle on through the uh, hill here, but we're not going full on. We're just going to gradually head up. We're going to cut through here. There we go. Um, do we want a tunnel? Yeah, do you know what? Should we give them a road tunnel? Oh no, that's going deeper than we want. We actually want to head up. I don't want a huge tunnel. No, we've got to head up quite steep, haven't we? We just don't need to head back up and then down again, do we? So we'll continue to head up. I didn't realise just how steep this is. Yeah, of course, because we had to make the climb ourselves, didn't we? To get all the way up to Lee. And if we do that now, are we good? I think we can just wiggle around here. And keep it nice and flat. Now we should be able to come around there. Isn't that better? We're still doing a little wiggle. It's just not as aggressive. And uh, we'll get a bit of official episode in here. Why not? Get you smoothed off at the side there. Doesn't have to be quite that sharp, does it? On the terrain. Because it would settle. Eventually. I will leave that little wiggle in, why not? We're getting close to town anyway, or are we? That's quite the journey really, isn't it? It's quite quite the car ride. I like that. This map's um, pretty big. I'm just going to take the edges off there, but we're going to keep a little bit of a cutting going on. And uh, this, this is unnecessary. So we'll upgrade a little bit of it, and then we'll... That's too much. And then we'll uh, sort out that wiggle at the end. If we hold shift, we can do it in segments. From about there, we'll do. And we'll get that nice and straight. We will have a T-junction up there because they do have to head to Romsey as well. All right, get that all tidied. And um, hopefully, I'll give them a better connection. Cheer them up a little bit. We'll just uh, 
go with the terrain on this one, I think. Be fine. We'll head by the uh, tree there. And then we'll cut through that tree, apparently. I'll take it. Right, get you in there. We won't bother about Romsey. We're not bothered about them yet. Uh, but we are dealing with with Lee, and I'm going to give us a little bit more competition with the roads uh, that we've done ourselves. I mean, the other way to look to look at this, rather than competition, is we, you're getting people to and from their houses. So, for example, someone may look, well, actually hit play, so get some cars back on the road. They may work in Lee and live in Aylsham, but if it takes them forever to get down this road and then they shop, for example, in Risborough and they want to take the train there. Well, I think they have to take the train, right? Yeah, currently. The longer it takes them to do this bit means it takes longer for them to get on our train and do their shopping bit. That's the other way to look at it. Of course, if they use their car for both, it doesn't really matter. But uh, our train, our local commuter, has already made its way to Aylsham. And uh, do we have anybody waiting? There we go. We have three people waiting for uh, a journey to Risborough there. Which is also uphill, isn't it? It's uphill in both directions. We've got people going all the way through to Henley. And uh, also stopping still at Prince's. It'll be interesting to see... If anyone uh, decides to get on this rather than the Express to go to Risborough. Uh, but we may change the layout of that, depending. Nothing like running steam under all these electrics. <laughs> get a bit sooty. Do we have people over here waiting? We do. We have six people. And they're all going to Aylsham. No one's going to Lee just yet. We'll probably need uh, a few more trams on here. I don't think we have many, do we? We have three. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get one moving. We want to get our frequency up, don't we? And get people shifted through town. Uh, you're about to do the little journey. We're going to save the ride on on board through the, through the junction, which we should be able to do, as we'll have two of these running shortly, as soon as he's up to... Uh, Let's lock that down there. As soon as he's up to Risborough, we'll add the new train from here. We'll just duplicate it. Uh, we've got a tram leaving. Is that the... Which tram's that? Is that the one we put on last? Didn't I put another one on here? Apparently I didn't. I thought I did. What did I... Where did I put that? Did I not? Oh no, there it is. Wow, they've spaced themselves out. Look at that. Guys, that didn't take long, did it? They were, yeah, they were next to each other. That's pretty impressive. It hasn't been that long since they've been uh, running. Well, colour me surprised. Right then, we'll get another one on here. There's, there's a few people waiting. Doing that, we have more chance of aligning with people's schedules. Right. You're coming in to the station. We'll get you duplicated. Close all that. Lovely. We'll get another train coming up. We've got, a, we've got our first person. There we go. Sarah Evans. I don't know where she's heading. Let's find out. You are heading to Aylsham. So that's a possibly one person off the roads and onto our trains. That's good to see, isn't it? And uh, we've got another tram heading up there. Given how well they spaced out, I might just go ahead and uh, stick four on there. What sort of frequency does that give us? It gives us uh, a frequency of 106 seconds. We'll let that settle down, but that should, that should get things moving. And then we can go up here and see what the scores on the doors are. The road looks pleasant now. It may be a bit bunched up in places, especially given this road being uh, kind of slow, really. Yeah, we might upgrade that. Well, it's fine, isn't it? I don't fancy going down there, though. We'll upgrade it when we get to Romsey. 
let's check and see how many people now destinations lay is it still lee it is there we go we've got our one person which was sarah was it sarah oh i can't remember her name now S sarah lee oh well, we've got 16 people heading that way we've got a new bus we don't have any buses yet do we have we set any up we should do that very soon and uh a diesel by vehicles let's just have a check shall we locomotives diesel here we go and well we could just go all locomotives so we can compare can't we down here let's just compare it to its closest yeah 75 78 uh power 2500 well, it's not too bad oh it's heavy on the tractive effort that's what it is which doesn't really play too much of a role in transport fever it does have a role it just wouldn't impact it enough for it to to be worthy of replacing a more powerful loco i guess the uh, the flip side to that is if you're looking for closer to 2000 extra power then uh, it would make more sense than that wouldn't it so yeah no it's got a place it's got a place it's a cheap and cheerful option isn't it we might be able to find a home for it people are queuing indeed we get on to our trains that's perfect uh i want to keep an eye on this throughout the uh, the next few episodes would be nice should we tidy this up a little bit more official episode let's get that uh dead grass gone that's tidier doesn't quite need to be that sharp does it oh i've done this side lovely right then let's see what the scores are do we have anyone heading down to lee we have two people on board this would have told us the same we ah, will look at that we have 11 now heading there we seem to have gained more people on the roads but equally more people uh on the on the train so we haven't really taken any away from the roads if anything we've we've increased the desire for people to drive the road so that's a good thing we've got 125 people from lee uh heading into aylsham for 126 for shopping and 31 for work and half of those well more than half of those people are using our train i think that's a win 50 50 we did improve the road as well i believe we can probably get that a little better we've got a few things to look out for over in aylsham which is we don't quite have the reach over this side here um we almost do it's not too far off yeah we just kind of missed this this uh, what is this it looks like industry yeah we missed the industry part and we possibly missed some of this residential down here as well so one option uh the idea to have two loops going around here which might not be a bad idea we could also branch this one off possibly to go that way instead of down there or we could head this way then head round and so they pass through here and then we go round the other way as well so i think that will be the first plan of action for aylsham because aylsham quite big isn't it already have we sorted our food situation out yeah there we go we're catching up a little bit have we increased we have look 253 we are shipping now how are we doing back at alsham station there we go nicely balanced do we have anybody we still have people heading to the express station that's kind of cool and uh yep upper princes these are just going to be the to wherever they're going here comes our our train and of course we've got passengers these are not going to make as much money to start with it takes them a little while uh, to change their destinations and figure out where they want to work and shop but uh eventually i think we're going to fill this train up 
It's early days, isn't it? We haven't been doing it too long. We could run the diesel on here, technically. It's almost tempting, but this looks nice, doesn't it? I like this. With the A3 and then the uh, brown carriages. Perhaps we'll find uh, another use for it. Perhaps one of the, the more cross-country uh, commuters. There we go. Do you have people on? You do? 23? Yeah, I'm not going to like the finances on this one. That's a pretty miserable uh, ratio, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Uh, income to uh, expenditure there is awful. But it's going to get better. Bit of uh, reflection there on the windows. I don't know what it's reflecting. The sun? Maybe. I think they're fake reflections. But anyhow. Yes, plans. Guys, this has got to go. I th Yeah, I'm, I feel like this is going to be the way to go. This has got to go around here. Uh, it shouldn't need a, too many more stops. Uh, possibly one on this corner. And then round here. And then this won't be here. Rather we uh, glide in that way, I would say. We could do this though, couldn't we? We could get on here. Head down like that. And then around that way. And a stop here. Should we put them in? Um with a view to expanding later on. I might leave this. Oh, you'd have to. I might leave that as a four-lane road and upgrade this one to a four-lane. Possibly. It doesn't really need to be. We could have this two-lane. All depends, doesn't it? Yeah, this, this should really be a four-lane road, though, shouldn't it? Yes, let's get that upgraded. Uh, hopefully. Uh, ooh, I almost did it, guys. And it would have been Alsham again, like I did it the, the, when we first did it. And let's do that instead. Two are going to be removed anyway, because uh, they've run out of room. But uh, the big ones have been moved. I'm not sure what you're aiming for here. You're kind of aiming for this junction, which is cool. Should we help you out? If we go straight here, can we get right into that junction? That's awful. There we go. There you can. Beautiful. Um, can we go with a bit of a curve then instead? That's better, isn't it? Tidier. Oh, ooh. have you changed that though? I don't want you to change anything. If we bring you in like that and stay flat, please. There we go. And we send you out that way then that's probably tidier than what you would have done perhaps official episode galore today right so we are going to have a stop there i like that yes and we'll have another stop here should we upgrade this road then and get that uh, nice and chunky fight as well we'll lose a few houses we'll do that one yeah we'll do that one as well and that means we can have another stop at the end here and then we'll get that up and running once uh once everything's settled down what do you want grand <laughs> buildings and we'll get one on here they are going uh, middle lane so that's beautiful because our trams will be on the outside won't they yeah we need to uh tramify that don't we Get you trammed up. Get you trammed up. This is going to be trammed up down here. And then we are going to be coming through that way with our trams. We may need another stop here. Given that. Do we? Yeah, do you know what? We'll go with uh, that. I like this. I like the sweeping turn around here. Traffic lights here. Necessary? Possibly. Possibly. I may tidy some of these traffic lights up. Let's get the traffic light tool. Uh, this one here. I'm going to remove them there. I don't like that one. In fact, I'm going to put them back there and <laughs> remove them there instead. Now, this is not really necessary, is it? Uh, nor's that one. I'm going to take that one off. Don't need that one either. Uh, yes, yes, I don't mind that one. This one, it's a, a main road and not a main road. 
that may be a crossroads, but it's two side streets. And that'll be fine. I kind of want to take them off here. It could get messy, though, in real life. Not in game. They actually... They actually use the junctions better without traffic lights. And we'll get rid of that one as well. Not required. Not on a T-junction. Uh, another T-junction there. Don't need it. We'll have one there. Get rid of these double ones. I don't like those. There we go. Get rid of that one as well. And we'll keep... No, we'll get rid of that one. Better. Don't need one there. It's just a side road that they just put in, I believe. Yes, that's a brand new side road they've put in. Let's give you a little bit of smoothing action. A little bit of official episode for you there. It's getting busy, guys. It's getting super busy. It looks like we're becoming an interchange here. And, uh, yeah, we might need a bigger, bigger building here to make it look impressive at the very least. Are we uh, keeping up? No, there we go. That's how much more demand we've gained. Let's throw, I'll tell you what, we'll throw two more on. I love the way that they're spacing themselves out. I mean, it's going to get a rework soon. That was a little bit of infrastructure change. I guess we should think about ending as well soon. Uh, we need to go and ride on that new train, don't we? I, I'm going to uh, get this electric up, though. Just so we're ready to go. I'll, what I'll do... I'll put the buildings in before the next episode and um, we'll decide down in the comments. Do we want this as two loops, a clockwise and counterclockwise loop system or uh, two separate lines, two separate line lines not, <laughs> I mean, uh, that both terminate and then head back out? I believe heading through would look better. However, it's going to be a little trickier on uh, balancing. Yes, because they're going to be busier. They might be busier down here, for instance, than they would be down there. So if you had two separate lines, you could have less vehicles on this one and more on this one. I guess if they're circles, it might only be the counterclockwise one that would be busy. Oh, that would be a that would be a nightmare to to sort out but i'm up for the challenge guys should we get on board then i'm happy with this i'll set up the uh, the remaining stops and get the line prepared uh well i won't get the line prepared unless there's uh, ample comments leaning one way or the other where's our train oh it's just approaching the station look at that right i'll save it then and we'll get on board guys here we go we can wait at the platform and then we'll uh We'll get on. It's a driver change, and we're the new driver. So that's the train we're going to be on today. There's 21 people getting off. We may we may need to uh, add a few more trams on here as well. And then we'll see how this all affects uh, the rest of our, our network. Are we about to head off? I think we are, aren't we? There we go. We'll get on board. Guys, that's been an episode. We're on our new commuter. <laughs> and it's all working as well. Is it working as intended? We'll find out next time out, I think. Because uh, this would have had a little bit of time to settle down. It would be great to see this uh, busy up. And uh, get these carriages full. And see the need, because we're only quarter full at the moment, 26 people. Although that's pretty impressive, as um, it, it's not been going for that long. People have have to travel quite a way around uh, the Lee and Aylsham area, as they've got, uh, they might be able to drive to Bradford as well, as well as Romsey, and uh, would have to check where else the roads go. But yes, our first bit of competition from the AI and uh, we'll check on those numbers next time. I can hear some trains up there on the uh, elevated part of our, our network here. Under the freight line. And then slowly creeping up to meet the main line there. Love it. Guys, I'll leave you on board. Thank you for watching. And until next time, take care.